Hey guys, it's Emily. Hi, so welcome back to another video, another vlog I should say. I'm very, very, very excited to film this one. I say that every single vlog, but I'm genuinely very excited because this weekend I will be taking Custer and my friend's horse Chippy to compete at Yulambi Show Jumping down in Bustleton near Margaret River. So that's in good like four hours away from me. So this is going to be quite the journey, but it is, they have such beautiful grounds there. So I am beyond excited to film this video and show you guys around and honestly one of the most gorgeous and mesmerizing grounds here in Western Australia. Um, so before we get started, I will show you my outfit. So if this isn't news to you, I am dressed in my bear equestrian. <laughs> this is their new Eco Lux range. This is made out of seven water bottles. How cool is that? Seven water bottles. Um, so if you want to see more of these, I have a post on my Instagram, which is life on the back. Here is the link and you can click it down below. Um, and then next I'm wearing my bear equestrian riding tights. I do have my bear equestrian socks this weekend, but I wear them to compete and not to just walk around and because I don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> so these are just some cheap Kmart socks. They're men, so they're like massive on me, but they stop me from getting blisters when just walking around the ground. So that's a good thing. Um, but I will show you guys what I'm wearing each and every single day. Um, well, I will be showing you around the grounds in this video. I will be showing you tacking up my rounds and all that jazz. So this weekend I will be competing Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Today it is Thursday and I will be competing three times on the Friday, three times on the Saturday and three times on the Sunday. So I'm very excited. It's going to be a very busy weekend, but we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Um, I'm my biggest class is a class of 74 people. So <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. The float is all packed. I had to pack it last night in the dark, so unfortunately I couldn't film that, but I will show you briefly of what's in it today. But um, mostly it will just be vlogging around the grounds and showing you everything, showing you my rounds, doing a voiceover maybe, we'll see. All right, now time to go put the horses on the float. Here we have the float. I will show you what is in here. It isn't as full as it is to go eventing, but got my saddle, got their bridles, got all that stuff, their boots. And then in here is where it gets a bit hectic. So we've got rugs up the top and then this is jam back. <laughs> so we've got all their feeds because we're going for four days. We've got their hay bags, hay, oh, hay nets and hay bags, a ru another rug. And then there's just stuff in here. So there's stuff everywhere. So let's go load them on. grazing they're off the flow already happy um we've got we found one of my yards i think someone has taken the other one so we will discuss that a bit later but um at the moment chippy i don't know uh, you guys haven't met him on my youtube account yet or on my instagram so this is chippy he is a 13 year old thoroughbred he's so jumped up to a meter 10 i think and this weekend we're just doing 80 to 90 on him which is awesome and then custard as you know um <laughs> They're dragging me too much. It's Chibi, come here. Oh, good boy. Oh, Custer's moving. Are you going to go for a wee? Oh, good boy. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Custer's going for a wee. Chibi's still eating. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Hey. Okay? 
so we have arrived safely at Ulambi. Mum is currently taking uh, Chippy for a walk while I'm taking Custer. Oh, where is he? There he is. Um, we've just gone past the ring two, one. Oh, yeah, in order, two, one. And now we're going up to Arena 3, which is the lovely indoor. Um, yeah, I'll just show you a little bit around here because it is absolutely beautiful here. The grass is green literally everywhere. Like, you look around and there's not a single spot of dead grass, <laughs> which is a big improvement from our property. Um, <laughs> and uh, so walking, these are their stables, the individual stables now. And up here, oh, we're approaching the beautiful Yolambi Indoor Arena. There's the big iconic Yolambi sign. I think we'll have to get a photo in front of it this weekend. TV will be competing in this arena. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I'll show you on the inside as soon as we get up here. So we are here approaching the um, entrance. This isn't where the horses enter, but oh my God, just look at it inside. Wow. That did not interrupt them too much because they're setting up, but oh God, the boys are loving their grass. Guys, we've got to go into our yards. This is such a beautiful arena. And as you can see, it backs on to a massive, massive dam. And it makes for the best photos ever. I will show you guys a little bit more on top of those hills over there. So that is where I enter and exit from. Here it is. They're still setting up all the jumps, but here is a view from on top of these hills. It is gorgeous and it makes for the best photos. So as you can see, there's lovely grounds here. I don't, I'm not even putting studs on cuss at this event because it's not rainy. Three days later. Here is more of the gorgeous dam that backs onto the arenas and the huge house over there. <laughs> so here's the second arena. This is the one, I think Custer will be in this as well, but Chippy's going to be in here the majority of the time. Beautiful grounds as well, completely green. So yeah, very, very, very excited. Set up. We've got their hay, hay bags full of hay. Um, we've got mum and I set up there. This is where I'm sleeping. My bag is going down the end. Um, so my bed's all ready. We've got the boys' feeds for tonight. Their rugs for tonight because it's going to get cold. Um, there's my very dirty white saddle bag that we just rode in, so it's just drying because Chippy got a bit sweaty. And then we've got their feeds ready, got the egg massage. Um, yeah, everything is all sorted um there are the boys over there it's awesome that we can see them from the float which is quite rare when you're at events Cus is at the last of his hay and chibi's just chilling i'll put his rug on him um, when he's completely dry and yeah they're being such good boys so both boys are all fed and rugged Custer has his little skirt on um he's eating his dinner and here's some fresh hay um chippy over here Oh, you're so beautiful. Yes. What are you doing? He 
he's got his food there. He's got his, oh, I need to clean his water. I'll just flick some of this out. There we go. So yeah, he's got his hay, he's all happy. I think he wants to eat cusses, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you enjoying your snacks? Yeah, good boy. I really wanna see what's up this hill, so we're gonna go for a walk. Well, that's at the top of it. How beautiful is that? Hey guys, so you can't really see me because it is night time now. It's around eight o'clock. Um, the boys are all tucked in. Um, they're a lot warmer than I am. It is freezing here. It's like 17 degrees, but going from 30 degree days to 17 is a big difference and we are all feeling it here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready for a big day tomorrow. Um, I'm waking up at probably six to feed them. Course walk is at 7.30 and then I'm riding it probably around 8.30 or maybe nine. I'm not sure, but gotta be prepared. So yeah, very excited and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. It is so cold. Oh my god, look at the window is like frozen. It is so 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 cold. It is like 15 degrees here. Um, it feels much colder than that, so I don't know if that's true. It's currently 6.30. Um I slept in because it was too cold to get up and I was like, nah, this is not happening. <laughs> um so I'm about to go feed the ponies. I need to go chuck another jumper on. Um, so it's mine and Cass's first ever made mid descent together, so it's a very exciting day. So the boys are eating their food, they're having their water filled up because Cass had drank all his and Chiffy got a lot of food in it, so it was dirty. Um, they've eaten all their hay overnight. So I've just put Cass's ice vibe boots on just to get some of the swelling down because look at you, you've got stuff everywhere. Because he's got some swelling in his front legs, a little bit in his back, just from standing and not doing anything. But yeah. So we're taking the boys for a walk. Chip is not being very good, but Custard's, he's just, he's always a good boy. I'm looking at the jumps now. Um, I hope I'm not doing that height. <laughs> but all of the rest of them are a metre. So, very, very, very excited. I can't wait. It's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Me and Koos are very excited. Hey, so um, after a big kerfuffle, um, I'm actually on Chippy first today, so that was a bit stressful. I've just learnt my course, I haven't had a chance to walk it, but we'll be fine, we'll see how we go. So we'll go warm him up now. guys so I'm back from my round um that was very rushed very out of plan I didn't even get to walk the course so in all that in consideration Chippy was really good we went clear and then got to do the jump off and uh, we knocked jump 12 which was jump 3 in the jump off um, which was purely my fault because I was going to jump actual 3 instead of jump 12 and I was like oh crap so I had to quickly swing him around and jump it and he kind of jumped through the top two poles so that was purely my fault I don't blame him at all um but yeah I'm really happy with him he's very very strong very full of himself um but other than that he was great um also I didn't get to do a tack up with Chippy I didn't get to film what I wear on him so I'll quickly show you guys now so I'm wearing my Lumiere grey shirt I have my stock on I have pinned it to my shirt because Custa um Custa leaps me out of the saddle and my stock goes flying up over and it makes not nice photos so hopefully this will fix it 
Then I'm wearing my brand new Fair Equestrian Snow White riding tights. Um, they are literally like that, almost whiter than my stock. They're just shiny as. Um, and then just my Spooks jacket over the top because it is still chilly outside. But um, yeah, so I'm very happy with chips. Um, I'm gonna go see when Custer's on and yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys, today so just setting up the meter 10 now in the big green. So I'm very excited to get going with Custer. I'm just about to walk my course, so I will show you my course once I've fully set it up and then we're ready to go. Just about to go put on Cus's equisage because he gets an equisage before every ride with his kissing spine because it helps him so so much. So yeah. Hey guys, so we are all ready to go on Custer. Um, I'll show you him now. He's just getting his bridle put on. He is wearing his collegiate breastplate, um, I think girth as well, Lemire saddle pad, thin liner half pad, um, Kentor saddle, and he's wearing his Premier Equestrian front boots and um, wolf wear back boots. He's also wearing his um, collegiate bridle. So we are ready for our <laughs> meter five today. He was awesome in our meter 10, um, the sack the jockey though, but um, he's just having a bit of a snooze. He's, he's not wanting to, I don't think he's gonna wanna <laughs> do well. You got flies everywhere. But um, yeah, we're all ready.
So Custer and I just had a lovely meter five. Um, he was a good boy. I just got a bit ahead of myself in the first combination and he just unluckily knocked um, the last rail, but I'm very, very happy with him. So Custer has just finished having his exercise. I'm struggling a lot to um, record by myself without someone um, because the second he finishes his round, we have to rip off his boots, rip off his tack and put his ice boots on and then cool him off because um, I can't afford for him to hurt himself. Oh, I'm exhausted from walking out a hill. How pretty is that? <laughs> what a view, hey? So that is day one finished. Right now I'm walking the boys along here. They are grazing, not at the moment, but they were. Um, I'm very, very proud of them both. They were awesome. Um, sack the jockey though on both of them because I'm the one who made the mistakes but they were such good boys and yeah very very pleased and I'm very excited for day two. Cuss is apparently terrified of the water. Aren't you Cuss? Oh what are you smelling? Don't smell that. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is currently 7 o'clock on Saturday, day 2 of Yulambi, so I'm very excited. Today I have two classes on Chippy and one on Custer. So Custer is in the meter 5 in the big ring um, this morning and then Chippy is in the 85 Super 2 phase in Arena 2. Now on course, we welcome Emily Evans, and she's aboard Colonel Goldzipper. Colonel Goldzipper's a rising 13-year-old quarter horse cross. This combination recently placed third in the one-star class at Weya. I believe this horse had a previous career as a Western horse before commencing his jumping and eventing career. And Gemma, Emily also has a career as a camera girl for us as well and a good one at that. Yes, it's very nice to see these riders t taking an interest in the sport outside of the saddle as well. So, and I think it makes a difference having a rider on the camera. They know, or they can anticipate what the horse is gonna do. I could not agree more. Which is why our lovely Erin does such a wonderful job on the roof up there. Thank you, Erin. And this is looking to be a very good round here for Emily and Colonel Goldzipper. I haven't seen any rails hit the floor yet. Beautifully over the last. Well inside the time allowed. Emily Evans and Colonel Goldzipper. Yeah, that was a really good round. She kind of got underneath that lighthouse fence a little and... Uh, Got a little bit deep there, but the horse worked very hard for her and really wanted to leave those rails up. So well done there to Emily. Now she's got the jump off. So she's got to jump these lovely butterflies to start with and she's off. She takes the inside line to number one. Look how boldly she rides this horse. She really trusts how careful it is. You can't ride a horse that's not careful this quick over these fences. There's some horses will just naturally back up for you and you can really ride them in. And uh, just look at this mare eye up the fences as she approaches. If it's a mare, I'm not sure, but it's bloody careful, whatever it is. Look at this ride, what a shame. Just a fall there at the second last. It'll be a fast time. Check the time, 38.26. She didn't take any risks. That could move her into the lead. So we've had a day full of ups and downs. Chippy was the downs, Custer was the ups. Um, unfortunately, I had a fall on Chippy in the warm up, which we didn't get on video, which I was really upset about. <laughs> um, it was just a funny little fall, like I came off laughing and then ran to the ambulance to get checked out and then ran back, hopped back on him 
Um, he snapped his mining girl, so that didn't help. But we got, we went, when we went into the ring, we got round jump one beautifully, jump two beautifully, and jump three, he slammed on the brakes and got both, oh, he actually just got one of his feet stuck in the fill. It was a stupid fill, like I'm, and apparently it happened again today, so it's not just like Chippy was the first one. So we are not happy at all. Um, but anyways, he thankfully just has superficial wounds. Um, he's all taken care of, he's happy. I was like, he couldn't care less. So he's, he's all good, he's not, nothing major at all. So thank gosh, because it could have been so much worse. Um, I'll put in the clip here of how actually traumatizing it was. I'm beyond proud of how well he handled it because some would just have like reared up and flipped over like we are so 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 lucky and he handled it amazingly um and this boy on the other hand mr grumpy bum now he took out the win in the meter five am7 out of 26 riders i think so i'm very 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 happy with him we got a um, jump off time of 38 so yeah i'm super proud of him he did amazing he had his best jumping pants on so it's nice to come home with one ribbon at least but now change of plans like always <sighs> there is meant to be a cyclone coming tomorrow and there's blue skies there's not a single cloud in the sky so um it's, it's, like, it's like the calm before the storm um but it's a hundred percent chance that it's going to be pouring tomorrow there's like it's going to be sludgy there's probably going to get be trucks to get bogged in here so I have, t I had one round on Chippy. He's obviously scratched from, he he didn't do his other round today. He was just scratched after that happened. Um, Custer has a meter tomorrow and then a meter 10 in the Junior Grand Prix, which I was so excited to compete at, but we're just gonna call it a day. Um, call it a weekend and yeah, because both the boys have exceeded my expectations. Like Custer was insane. We did our first one, a meter 10. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with how he's jumped and Chippy with his um, his wounds now. We just want to get him home as soon as possible. So that's the go this weekend.